What's up guys, Juan here from Android Authority and with Android Wear 2.0 being delayed till next year and no new Android Wear smartwatches from companies like LG, Motorola or Huawei, Android Wear has grown a little bit stagnant, at least until the update comes out. If you're impatient or just looking for something to breathe some new life into your Android Wear smartwatch, you might want to give Asteroid OS a try, which we currently have running on one of the oldest Android Wear smartwatches, the original LG G Watch. So Asteroid OS was created by a French computer science student, and it's a completely standalone Linux-based wearable OS, so it's not based on Android Wear in any way, shape, or form. It's also completely open source, which means other developers and manufacturers can take this and freely modify as they see fit. Something to keep in mind with Asteroid OS is that it's currently in alpha, so don't expect everything to work perfectly. You will notice a lot of bugs and freezes, but it still runs well enough to give you a good idea of what this new take on a wearable operating system is like. Asteroid OS also has their own app, which you can download from their official homepage, and this app will allow you to manage certain functions and pair it with your smartwatch. Aside from the LG G Watch, Asteroid OS also currently supports the G Watch Urbane, the Sony Smartwatch 3, and the Asus Zen Watch 2. If you're looking to pair this to your phone for notifications bluetooth pairing only works on the original g watch at the moment but even though it works on the g watch it's still very finicky the bluetooth connection isn't always stable and the notifications disappear from the watch after a couple of seconds and will go back to telling you that you have no notifications and it doesn't seem like you can interact with or read the notifications directly from the watch at least for right now when the watch is connected to the phone you have several options within the app itself you can change the weather to your city of choice locate your watch, grab a screenshot or tinker with the notification settings, but the weather settings and the find my watch options are currently the only ones that work right now, while the other two are not supported just yet. The app will also tell you your remaining battery life on your smartwatch, but at the moment it's not accurate. So if you wanna check your watch's battery life, I would do it on the watch itself and not through the app. Since it's a touch-based wearable OS, all of your navigation will be done via swipes. If you swipe down on the display, this will give you access to some quick shortcuts for screen brightness, Bluetooth, and turning vibration on or off. You can also see your remaining battery life from here, and if you tap on the lock icon, it'll put your watch to sleep, and you can double tap on the display if you wanna wake it back up. Swiping to the left will take you to your notifications if you manage to get notifications to work properly, and swiping right will always take you back one step unless you're already on the main home screen, and in this in this case, swiping right will take you to your recent app screen, which will let you quickly jump between apps, and you can easily close these apps out by long pressing on them and tapping the X that appears. There's no third-party apps at the moment, but there are a handful of basic applications pre-installed, which you can get to by swiping up. You have a calendar application, calculator, alarm clock, timer, stopwatch, a music player, and a weather application, and all the apps have a very clean, simple, minimalistic look with white text and graphics and colorful backgrounds. You can also access all the watch settings from here, which has all the basic functions that you would expect, like the time, date, language, Bluetooth, screen brightness, and options to power off and reboot the watch. There's also some customization options here for wallpapers and watch faces, and it comes pre-installed with a surprisingly decent amount of wallpapers and watch faces, especially for such an early build. If you're looking to install this, you can find the instructions on the Asteroid OS homepage, which will either link down below in the description or over at Android Authority, but keep in mind it's not for the faint of heart and does require knowledge on how to use ADB in order to install it. It's also not exactly daily driver material due to the bugs and the battery life isn't all that good, but this alpha release will give you a good idea of what the experience is like. If you're familiar with ADB, feel free to give it a try. And just in case you're wondering, it doesn't overwrite Android Wear and you can easily revert back to Android Wear just by simply rebooting your watch. It's definitely a wearable operating system that looks like it has a lot of potential. And I think it's worth keeping an eye on just to see where it goes from here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this quick look of Asteroid OS. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up down below. We definitely appreciate it. And also subscribe to the channel, which is also down below if you haven't already. And check us out on social media, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Google+, Plus, all that good stuff will be linked down below. And feel free to follow me on Twitter as well. And as always, check out the website, androidauthority.com, because we are your source for all things Android.